Okay, so it's day three. And Katrina and Carl arrived last night to show you Carl and Rip, but Katrina's their patron, long term patron from the beginning. Hello, Katrina. Hello. So, Katrina is doing clean. So, at the moment, I've been boiling up. Boiling up my tea towels to clean them all up. She's been cleaning all my kitchen cabinets out. Yeah. Did you think you'd be doing this, Katrina, on your holiday? I'm not on holiday. <laughs> I've come to volunteer. I don't normally look like this, but. Right, let's go show you where the laundry room is and we can have a bit of an update down there. Watch your step in. Do you want me to carry that? No. You sure? So, this is the laundry, what is going to be the laundry room. Are you all right? Yeah. I'm just a bit wobbly on my feet. So, I think this is the first time Katrina's seen this room, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, gosh. Yeah. So, this is what's going to become. Oh, this is where you found the egg. Yeah. So this is the top of the cave yeah. oh, in the boot yeah. room. So that's underneath, that's where the cave goes down. So underneath us is the cave. So they uncovered all this. Yes. That is where the old bread oven is. So that's not the bread oven that's in apartment one. Uh -huh. That is another bread oven. bread oven. And that is the door there, the doorway yeah, that we uncovered is. in apartment one. Yeah. So, and this is where the wall was falling down. Oh gosh. Over here. So Do you remember when we had to rebuild yeah. all this wall? Oh. That's why we've still got these up. But anyway, I'll show you the washing machine. Um, Katrina's going to do some washing for me. Right. That should do. That's fine. That's it. Right. Yeah. Washing's on. So day three begins with the new arrivals of Cole and Katrina. But while we wait for the digger to turn up that I've hired, there's loads of work to be cracking I'm just going to go and see what Tobias has been up to. So this is the outside toilets, and Tobias has been clearing the roof out. And I'm, so I don't know if you can see. Hang on, let me go this way. Can I see up there? I'm just going to poke the camera up because I can't get out, so I don't leave it. So there's a high bit here. So he's been taking all the flooring out, I think, and the ceilings will come out, which will make them into two outside toilets. Um, so he's piling up all the rubble over here. Tobias, what are you up to? Well, uh, I'm removing um, the top from uh, from the, what do you call it down there? The toilets, the outside toilets? Yeah, the toilets, the coming toilets. Have you found anything? Well, I found uh, a bike and uh, some tools. Uh, a bike? What, on the roof bit? Yeah. Really? Yeah, and that's, uh, all of this is from an old uh, hay mattress. Oh, right. Yeah. I don't know if it's just been thrown up there or somebody slipped up there. And uh, a rotten rat. A rotten rat. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Lovely. That's it. So are you still enjoying yourself on day three? I'm enjoying it. Yeah? yeah I am. Good fun. It's good. Yeah, it is. <laughs> uh, I'm enjoying the... Uh, you're, you're good people to be around. It's, uh, it's, it's nice to be here. Everybody is... Uh, uh, talkative and, and uh, enjoying themselves doing their work so that's I, I, I enjoy it here it's, it's good nice. fun yeah, yeah. It is. oh good so whilst I was down filming with the boys the digger turned up without any of us even noticing and Ted got straight onto it there was no time to lose we only had the digger for two days. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Scary shit. Oh, that was a bit scary. <laughs> Hello,
literally, I can't believe how quickly we are getting things going around here because um, it's just crazy when you've got extra pairs of hands. So I'm just going to go through here and see. So this is Carl, who I was talking about. Carl is Katrina's husband, here to help us. How are you finding it, baby? It's, it, it's all right. It's, 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 it's incredibly satisfying. Yeah? It's just getting used to the control. And you see the stone level up there, that's going to be kind of the stage area. And this area is all going to be dug out to the same level as this stone floor. And then where the dirt is, we're going to reinstate a stone floor, which is why we've kept as much stone as we can find, save this getting it from the land, to reinstate. So this stone floor will, oh sorry, this stone floor will then go all the way up to where the stage area is. This is just absolutely fantastic. So the great thing is, it's like, it's just amazing that in three days, the work in here is just moving on so fast. And it's, I, I'm finding it very overwhelming. I, I, I'll talk to Ted about it later, but I'm finding it very, as you can see, I'm tearing up now. But um, yeah, I'm finding it quite overwhelming, the amount of work that we've got done with just a few extra pairs of hands helping us. It's just, oh. Phase two is beginning and it's just really lovely to, to have it cracking on. In here, um, which is eventually going to be a catering kitchen. Um, this eventually is going to become a catering kitchen, but at the moment we're putting everything in here we need to keep. But Colston and Tobias has um, sorted it all so we can walk around and find things. So they've put things in piles. So here we've got um, where all the cement and powder stuff is that's all okay. They've put all the wood here that we're going to be using for kindling for, for firewood. And then as we walk down, there's all my mortaring stuff they've put up here for us. In, in these cabinets, they've put um, any paints and um, uh, materials that we need. Here, we've got old furniture that we want to do something with. Um, there are a few boxes here that I need to sort out and put up in the loft. But yeah, it means that we can actually walk around 
every area. We've got tiles here that we can steal. These are tiles that are left over from other renovation we've done that we might be able to use for things. We've got some old garden, um, some ancient, as you can see, um, garden uh, materials here, uh, sorry, um, equipment here that we're going to use for decoration. Um, and these are all um, oils and petrol and things for the garden machinery. We've got the garden machinery over here. We've got other stuff here that I wanted to keep from the other barn that we're going to use as decoration or if I do decide to have a brocant. Um, so, you know, it means that we can find everything. We've got more gardening stuff, all the gardening stuff here. Um, so it's all sorted that we can actually walk in and find things. And now I'm going to take you over to the, to the other barn that we've sorted out, which is the uh, old, it's not a barn, it's the old coach house. Um, and the coach house had so much rubbish in it that was left here from our predecessors over years and years and years. And it was just full that you, we couldn't get in it. And um, me and Ted this morning went to take one lot of rubbish to the dishettery. By the time we got back, the guys had cl literally cleared this out. It's a bit dark in here, but um, you know, we've still got a bit of rubble because we're going to do a rubble run tomorrow. Um, but literally, as you can see, they've literally cleared it all out. This is all wood. So they've piled all the wood up and this is all usable wood that Ted will be able to use. Um, going forward because it's all dry wood. Now, what is so amazing about us having this area out and usable, you can see parts of the wall here that are literally crumbling and falling apart. Now, this wall is the wall that attaches to the piggeries where we're going to live. And we have been having some major problems with the, the roofing of the piggeries. Water ingress coming through the wall, and we can't figure out where it's coming from. Finding this hole in the wall and seeing that this wall is actually crumbling, it's actually falling apart, means that one, we've got to do a lot of repair work here. Um, two, it means that this is probably where all the water is coming from, that it's seeping in to the um, crevice inside the wall and just coming through the wall. So it kind of gives us an idea what we need to do with the, with the roof, which is, is brilliant because we just, was beside ourselves that we didn't know where this water was coming from. This whole wall here really needs so much repair work. I, I'm gonna have to get started on that, repair this part of the wall, which means taking stone out and re-putting stone in. Now there was obviously some sort of chimney here at one side stage. They obviously have a, had a stove in here or something and, uh, and put this sort of makeshift chimney thing in. Um, but that wall needs repairing and, um, and quite soon. But it's just, it's just amazing. All this in three days we've got done. Um, and, um, you know, without the help of the guys. This would never have happened. Because this is the sort of thing that me and Ted always looked at and we kept coming in saying, we need to clear this house out. Oh, the other thing with this house is the water has got to come through under the floor in here to the piggeries. So it means now we can get water into the piggeries. So clearing this is just amazing. But it is stuff that you pull stuff up, you pull stuff up, and you keep going, we've got to clear that out, got to clear that out. And then it gets to a point where it's so overwhelming that you don't know where to start. But with a few extra pairs of hands, it's done in three days. It's, it's crazy. Anyway, brilliant. Let's go see how Ted's getting on.
So by the end of day three, half of the barn had been dug out. So many areas had been cleared and it was time for us all to sit down and have a lovely meal. And that's the other amazing thing, having someone like Katrina in the kitchen helping us out, making sure the boys were fed was just amazing. What a great job these guys have done. I can't wait for tomorrow. If you've enjoyed the video, please like it and subscribe to see all of our future videos. Our budget doesn't run to probably the money we need to put into this, and we're probably talking about half a million to bring it back. To everything done, everything being finished, we're talking about half a million. And we've got 80,000. <laughs> if you, like us, feel that this 700-year-old piece of world history deserves preservation for generations to come, please check out our Patreon page, where you get chance to have Zoom chats with myself and Ted, see behind-the-scenes videos, receive discounts on stays here at Chateau de Montmagne or within the restaurant, and access to our patron-only Facebook page, where you get live videos, up-to-date information, and get to chat to the other patrons. So join us again next time for even more blood, sweat and tears. We'd also like to say a special thank you to everyone that's taken part in the Buy Us A Toll campaign for the medieval barn and everyone that's made a special donation. So here we go. Thank you so much to Robin Kirsten Catco, Richard Ellison, Michelle, DJ, Julie Cassie, Jude and Chris Lum, Lisa Mascot, Katrina and Cole Musgrove. Thank you all so much. We really appreciate your support. I'm